Welcome. So this is 49F2 and this is called electric field, area vector and electric flux. And here we're going to imagine we have a, a, a closed Gaussian surface. We have a potato shape on this side. And the idea is we're going to enclose some space uh, in, that, in that electric field with a completely uh, sealed Gaussian surface. It's going to be made up of a whole bunch of little cards. And for each card, we're going to ask ourselves about the electric field strength and direction and the area vector strength and direction. What we say is, for a closed Gaussian surface, we can define an area vector as pointing out of the surface, always out of the surface, like a, like a porcupine or a hedgehog always out of the surface and for the, for that we can say that the total flux is equal to well it's the sum of e dotted with di but in the limit where the area goes smaller and smaller and smaller so it gets very small tiles in the end and this equals the integral of e dot da it's a surface integral and there's there's three possibilities really when you think about it if the electric field is pointing out of the Gaussian surface, then the angle between the electric field and the area vector must be less than 90 degrees. And so the value, the flux, must be a positive number. So when electric field lines come out of the Gaussian surface that you've drawn, they're positive flux lines. And then if the electric field happens to be a tangent to the Gaussian surface, then the angle between the two, the electric field and the area vector is 90 degrees. And remember that the, the cosine of 90 equals uh, zero. And when the electric field is pointing into the Gaussian surface, then the angle between the electric field and the area vector is gonna be more than 90 degrees and less than 180 degrees which will be a negative value so the flux associated with that would have a negative sign so positive flux if the electric field is coming out of the Gaussian surface negative flux if the electric field is going into the Gaussian surface and we say that the total flux is proportional to the number of field lines uh, uh, entering and leaving the surface so um, in class check so for so for a closed Gaussian surface do we assign area vectors that point into the volume or point away from the volume is it like this pointing into the volume or is it like this for the area vectors pointing away from the volume and it's always away from the volume and then the second question is, an electric field line, if, if an electric field line emerges from a closed Gaussian surface, is the resulting flux positive or negative? And remember what we said. We said that if the angle between my dA and my electric field is less than 90, then if you think about it, if flux is equal to the integral of E dotted dA, and we can expand this and say the magnitude of E times the magnitude of dA times the cosine of the angle between them. And if that angle between them is less than 90 degrees, that's a positive cosine. And so we'll get a positive flux angle. And in this case, the angle between the electric field vector and the area vector is 82 degrees. So we have an electric field vector and our area vector is 82 degrees. And again, it's less than 90 degrees. <clears throat> and so it's going to be a, the resulting flux will be positive. So we're going to use these things, these, these, these conceptual ideas, when we start making up Gaussian surfaces to try to find the electric field at various points in a, uh, uh, in, in a space which is occupied by charges. Thank you.